Failing to provide notice to creditors can create significant problems for an estate. Keep listening for all you need to know to ensure a smooth probate settlement process. In Florida, before distributing any assets to heirs or beneficiaries, all creditor claims must be paid. That said, it's also true that all creditors must file a claim with the estate in order to get paid. If they fail to file a claim, the estate may be relieved of its obligation. So how do you reconcile these seemingly conflicting requirements? The fact that all creditors must be paid, but all creditors must, in effect, raise their hand filing a claim with the estate before they get paid. The seeming conflict is reconciled through Florida's notice requirement. You see, the personal representative has a legal obligation to ensure that all potential creditors have been notified that the estate has entered probate. This includes both known and unknown creditors. If we're talking about known creditors, how are they known? Well, the personal representative is going through the files and paperwork of the decedent. They're keeping an eye in the mail for any statements. After some time, it will be clear as to any known creditors. All known creditors should receive direct notice via the mail. Now, in order to safeguard against claims from unknown creditors, Florida Statute 733.2121 requires that personal representatives publish notice in a newspaper circulating in the county where the probate has been opened. There are specific rules with respect to the frequency of publication, so it's very important that you work in conjunction with your probate attorney to ensure that you get it right. Likewise, there are very specific rules with respect to exactly what the language of that notice should be and what information must be included in that notice. So again, it is very important that you work closely with your probate attorney on this. Once all required notices have been given, once the creditors have raised their hand and made a claim against the estate, once the personal representative has ensured that all claims have been paid out, now the estate is ready to pay out the beneficiaries and heirs, whatever is remaining, and the estate can be closed, right? Almost. Don't forget taxes. See, there may be the requirement for a final tax return for the decedent, and the estate itself may have to file its own tax return, which is separate from the decedent's tax return. That might come up in a situation where, let's say, there's some rental property in the estate, and even after the decedent passed, rental income continued to come into the estate. Therefore, if the estate has income, the estate has to file income tax. The whole point is, don't get excited <laughs> once all the creditors are paid and think you're done. Just remember, Taxes are still an issue, which is why now you need to work in conjunction with your CPA and probate attorney to ensure all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed and you're doing everything correctly. And now you can, with ease and assurance, pay out the beneficiaries and heirs and close out the estate. Don't forget to download our free report, The 12 Biggest Mistakes That Florida Personal Representatives Make and How to Avoid Them. You can do that at www.floridaprobatemadesimple.com. Subscribe to our channel. We publish new probate videos on a weekly basis and watch our next video.